जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू आई आई टी सी चैनल टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न द से प्रैक्टिस रिगार्डिंग हैंडलिंग ऑफ कॉम्प्रेस्ड गैस सिलेंडर आई चू नो दैट देयर हैड बीन मेनी इंसिडेंट्स इंसिडेंट्स इन द पास्ट ईयर्स ड्यू टू पुअर हैंडलिंग ऑफ कॉम्प्रेस्ड गैस सिलेंडर एज यू नो दैट कॉम्प्रेस्ड गैस सिलेंडर हैज गोट आई मीन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इफ समथिंग गोज रॉन्ग with his valves and other part of the cylinder this can explode this can give a projectile effect this can create a fire and there are many situations where incident has happened so we must know the safety parameters safe precautions while handling of compressed gas cylinder i would say that uh, it uh, is very important for everyone and anyone who had been involved in handling you may be operator you may be using this cylinder you may be in the warehouse in charge while uh, storing uh, this uh, store this uh, compressed gas cylinder you may be transport in charge or driver or you may be i mean helper who is going to help who is going to uh, transport this uh, compressed gas cylinder from one place to another place so we are going to see various parameters for safe handling of compressed gas cylinder uh, this would be around 15 to 18 minutes video and i hope this video is going to be useful for you and uh, surely this uh, will be crystal clear and in simple language guys this is about me and uh, i am not going to read by line by line these are the profile of iitc what we provide the services to our Uh, esteemed and respected customers on time to time basis on need basis these are the key competencies of our team as well as iitcs friends we are going to learn three basic important essential points how we can avoid the incidents related to the compressed gas cylinder first is safe handling and transport of compressed gas cylinder second is safe storage of the compressed gas cylinder in the plant or during the transportation and we will also see the emergency response plan and various incident response plans with the compressed gas cylinder in following slides there are additional videos which are made by me and these are freely available on iitc channel if you are interested you can search on or even i can also put the links in the descriptions if you want to i mean know a little more in a simple language in a better language it is available for you it is at free of cost so i mean uh, there you will learn the types of uh, uh, compressed gas cylinder common uh, incidents of compressed gas cylinder typical hazards of compressed gas cylinder and definitely uh, safe habits of uh, uh, gas cylinder use and, uh, and different checklist on daily basis to be used by operator to ensure there is no issues related to the storage handling transport and use of uh, compressed gas cylinder and last but not least different accessories which are used for welding and cutting of the compressed uh, by using the compressed gas cylinder guys handling of uh, uh, compressed gas cylinder these are the basic minimum points what we must know uh, if you are involved in the compressed gas cylinder if you may be a welder you may be a gas cutter you may be the warehouse in charge you may be the workshop in charge you may be the plant manager or construction manager we must know the basic things first first thing first always use the appropriate ppes while handling the compressed gas cylinder this starts with hand gloves protective footwear and eye protection these are the basic minimum and on top of that you can use uh, safety helmet and uh, um, uh, um, uh, the cover all if your company says so for correct handling the uh, cylinder is very important keep uh, uh, upside right secure the gas cylinder uh, always uh, and uh, always ensure that valves are uppermost use mechanical aids while uh, handling i mean uh, the gas cylinder i mean if you are transporting internally from one place to another place suitable and sufficient trolley should be there for transporting the gas cylinder from one place to another place 
conduct the risk assessment because these are the basic tool to identify the risk in advance so that you can take a preventive measures to prevent any major accident in your plant with the uh, right use right transport right handling and right uh, i mean uh, storage of compressed gas cylinder now guys we will understand uh, the use of uh, uh, suitable means like cradle slings clamps uh, cradle while using the crane and always deploy the trained staff to handle the gas cylinder these are the key important point to avoid any incidents related to compressed gas cylinder whether this is re related to handling related to use related to storage related to transport and other things handling gas cylinder these are the don'ts these are the basic minimum points what you must not know must not do while uh, doing the uh, i mean uh, gas cylinder handling never roll the cylinder on the ground to transport this uh, uh, gas cylinder from one place to another place never transport the cylinder with the valves and pressure regulator on or attached always remove the regulator if you are remove if you are moving the cylinder from one place to another place never attempt to catch a falling cylinder just get out of the way never try to never try to because this will create I mean hazard this will be a threat for your life this will also create problem for others never lift a cylinder by its cap never ever try to i mean uh, put the chain on the cap of the cylinder and valves or the guard because it is very hazardous it is very delicate it can break any time while you are transporting or handling this uh, uh, gas cylinder with the cap or with the valves treat every cylinder always full because full cylinder has got enthalpy it has got energy and this can create uh, 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 some problem gentlemen one of the key criteria to safe handle the compressed gas cylinder is transport there were many incident has happened due to poor transportation of the cylinders there are different ways and means uh, to transport the cylinder safely and people are doing wrong practices sub standard act and sub standard condition can bring accident we will see few examples we will see some photographs we will see the basic minimum bullet points what are essential for transporting the compressed gas cylinder if possible always carry this compressed gas cylinder in the open vehicle or trailer because this should be ventilated it will avoid accumulation of any flammable toxic gases if there is any leak during transportation and when you are transporting i mean uh, this uh, i mean uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, this cylinders use closed van or cars to ensure uh, uh, to good ventilation always i mean to say that uh, if you are using the closed and uh, cars and vents so always ensure that uh, these cars and vents are fully ventilated because it will avoid the accumulation of the leak gases if any during transportation if the load compartment is not separate from driver do not carry the toxic cylinder together so the meaning of this is do not carry toxic gases if the compartment of uh, the load and the driver cabin is not separate because if there is a toxic gas it may leak and it can create a problem or issue or challenge or threat to a driver guys we will see uh, the uh, points uh, to be taken care for transportation of cylinder one by one disconnect hoses and regulator from the cylinder when transporting these are the very important point if you are transporting even inside your plant from one location to another location always ensure that your hose pipes and regulators are detached from the compressed gas cylinder before moving from one place to another place always carry the filled cylinder in upside right condition because don't roll out don't uh, keep it uh, bottom right uh, uh, always keep uh, in a standing position so that uh, there is no threat to the valves and this will not leak during transportation do not carry flammable toxic cylinder with uh, toxic gases cylinder with toxic sorry do not carry flammable gas cylinder with toxic gas cylinder 
this is self understood if it is a flammable gas cylinder and if it is a toxic gas cylinder it can create a problem probably these gases are reactive these are not compatible so this can create a problem that is why never ever try to transport these two chemicals cylinder together compressed gas cylinder together and of course do not smoke while carrying this cylinder always use ventilated trucks and i mean uh, uh, vehicles as we explained earlier ensure correct label always ensure that correct label name plate numbers are there with the cylinder if the labels are not there better do not transport this uh, uh, compressed gas cylinder and inform the manufacturer or supplier immediately fit suitable protective valve cap and cover on the cylinder as you know the cylinders have got the valve and over the valve there is the protection layer over the guard which will prevent the breakage of the uh, valves so always ensure that before transporting this kind of compressed gas cylinder you put the guard and mount the guard over the valve so that your valves are protected it will prevent the projectile effect and explosion of the cylinder secure the cylinders always with the chain while transporting because it will create less moment and it will create no moment of the i mean uh, cylinders and this will protect the cylinder uh, valve and this will also protect any incident in or during transportation and of course do not project uh, the compressed gas cylinder outside your uh, truck edge or vehicle edge because it can create a collision effect with other vehicles and this will create a problem of fire explosion uh, of the compressed gas cylinder during transportation on the road park the vehicle in safe location if you find any suspicious leak of compressed gas cylinder and after that you immediately contact your supplier or manufacturer or emergency response team so that you get emergency response at immediately if in case required friends i have tried to put uh, some important picture for your awareness for your knowledge you can see it is a self explanatory no need to explain you can see the cylinders are uh, kept in a standing position and these are secured so that it will not give a, i mean momentum it will not strike with each other and this can be transported from one place to another place safely this truck what is your opinion about this just see are these safely loaded on the truck can this create a problem answer is yours if you have any doubt any question please put in the comment section so that i can come back to you very quickly with this picture you can understand the safe distance if there is no firewall if there is a firewall so no need to worry but the height should be 2 meter of this firewall so that uh, there is no cross communication of uh, lpg gas and other cylinder and oxygen uh, cylinder that is very important point which can give you a very good information this must be practiced full cylinder should be stored separately from the empty cylinder because if you do not know what is there inside cylinder always keep empty cylinder together and you mentioned do not use it empty oxygen cylinder should be segregated from the empty fuel cylinder because mixing of cylinder can create a toxic or flammable mixture if there is a leakage from the valve if any it is not always possible but it is it is the case other combustible material should not be kept in the storage storage area because if there is a fire of the combustible material this can create a radiation effect and this can create over pressurization of the storage Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, uh, compressed gas cylinder, and this can create uh, problem, and this can also create, uh, I mean, uh, uh, source of ignition. Don't keep a corrosive material or corrosive liquid or uh, something adverse to uh, the compressed gas cylinder inside the storage area. Storage area should be easily accessible, but it should be controlled access so that to prevent, so that you can prevent unauthorized entry. guys lpg cylinder have a special requirement including storage 3 meters away from the gases as we have seen in the past pyrophoric and toxic gases should be stored separately and in load condition you can see in this set the sets were available uh, i mean uh, on google so i have kept this uh, i mean photo 
for this picture for your understanding for education point of view i understand there is a copyright issue but uh, for the sake of interest of the people i have kept this uh, photo from the google protect gas cylinder from the external heat so appropriate uh, shelter and i mean uh, should be there so that adverse weather cannot affect your cylinder cylinder should be always secured and uh, properly strapped in chain you can see that it is keep kept in the compartment and i think chain is there so this is ideal approach for st st storage of the compressed gas cylinder in the plant and cylinder should be clearly marked what kind of gases are there in the cylinder and uh, what are the hcom what are the msds uh, uh, to ensure that we take appropriate action in case of an accident if required these are few photos which can give you a clear cut information regarding how to safe store the i mean uh, compressed gas cylinder you can see the compartments are made with the iron bar and uh, supports which is a very safe practice can be used in any company this is the method of uh, i mean uh, chaining of a different i mean uh, kind of uh, cylinder this is the best uh, and uh, safest way of storage this is also the best and safest way of i mean storage you can see the different labels different, different uh, numbers and other things are mentioned so that uh, we can understand the basic safe practice for storage of compressed gas cylinder store all cylinders upside right and secured and leveled as you have seen that acetylene and propane must be uh, stacked uh, i mean uh, must not be stacked in horizontal condition storage area with the gas cylinder must have more than one exit of course as per the emergency response plan cylinder should be located away from the heat and source of ignition cylinder should be stored away from the fire exit elevators walkways building egress uh, and unprotected platform edge and etc storage arrangement should be clearly i mean described in emergency response plan because emergency response plan should deal with all emergency situations it has to be practiced during mock drill so that uh, we can do a damage control in case of any emergency storage area must have good housekeeping ventilation and adequate warning sign msds and fire fighting system should be there in place i mean to say that we have seen couple of slides in our previous few minutes these are the key points for safe storage of compressed gas cylinder what we must know for having a safe and accident free storage guys these are very important point see we have to think for best prepared for the worst we must know what are the likely incident scenario can happen while storing handling transporting of compressed gas cylinder and appropriately we have to make action plan we need to practice so that we can do our damage control if any in worst case situation these are the one of the typical case of incident scenario if there is a leakage report any damage leaking cylinder to the supplier immediately without wasting a single second because this will help you to do a damage control probably these suppliers have got a lot of tools and tackles to handle the leaking cylinder uh, efficiently and without any damage we have to ensure followings if there is a non leak but without fire huh? you must understand without fire eliminate all source of ignition immediately from the uh, from uh, or nearby the leaking or leak leaked cylinder ensure the valves valve is closed and do it immediately if you are efficient confident and if you are trained only place the cylinder in the safe place and well ventilated area so that no person is affected as well as no accumulation of compressed gas toxic gas uh, flammable gas if any mark the cylinder mark the cylinder label cylinder as a faulty and do not use further and it has to be returned to the supplier immediately so that supplier can take appropriate action for safe use safe handling safe transportation and safe discarding of this kind of uh, compressed gas cylinder warn everyone in the area of the gas leak if there is a gas leak from the cylinder you 
or we must inform everybody, anybody who are working nearby the leaking cylinder so that they can escape themselves before any accident takes place. Immediately uh, inform the supplier so that supplier can come and give you support. Follow the supplier guideline in case of any emergency because every supplier gives the information to you and we must practice uh, during the mock drill so that we can do a damage control. These are the second scenario. I mean, definitely we must report the damaged or leaking cylinder to the supplier immediately. In this case, if the cylinder is leaking and there is a known fire, so that means we do not have much thing to do. And if you are not trained, don't do, don't take any action because the, your action can create a threat for you. So call emergency services or supplier immediately so that you can get a timely help. Uh, to contain uh, the leak, to uh, contain or extinguish the fire and evacuate uh, uh, and safe evacuate and escape the people, escape the area immediately. These are uh, the cases where the cylinders are damaged. I mean, you can go through, I mean, uh, point by point, line by line. If you need to do so, I will not uh, repeat it, uh, I mean, uh, for uh, uh, sake of, uh, I mean, uh, uh, time. In case of uh, flashback has occurred, let's say if you are using the compressed gas cylinder and you are doing a welding or cutting, if there is a flashback, these are the following points you need to do in the chronology so that you can do a damage control. When there is a flashback, immediately close the oxygen valve first, then other uh, blowpipe. Close both cylinder valves immediately. Uh, this is main valve, main cylinder valve. Check the temperature of the cil uh, cylinder, specifically acetylene cylinder, for any thermal decomposition, if any, because acetylene cylinder can decompose, I mean, uh, uh, on its own because of any circumstances of high pressure or high temperature. So this is very essential and sensitive. Check the condition of blowpipe, if there is any, I mean, unusual heat or unusual, uh, I mean, uh, visual uh, indication. Check the nozzle condition immediately, because if this is jam, chalk, this can create issue. Open both blowpipe valve to purge and start the oxygen first so that uh, you remove the flammable gases uh, uh, before flammable. Close the pressure regulator uh, immediately so that uh, you do not uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, take out the flammable gas I mean, uh, unnecessarily. Before starting up, again, check the integrity of whole system beginning from the regulator, your uh, blowpipe, your hose pipe, your uh, flashback arrester, your uh, mm, blow pipe, as well as your nozzle. These are another situation when the gas cylinders are on fire. Evacuate the area immediately if the cylinder is involved on fire. Immediately, do not think twice. Immediately, remove uh, all the non-essential people, essential people from the area, immediately inform the fire brigade or ma manufacturer or supplier so that you can get uh, right information from right people at the right time. Use large quantity of water to cool the cylinder if uh, you can do safely. Do not apply high pressure of water directly on the fire or cylinder. Remove filled cylinder which are not involved in fire if possible safely so that you can I mean, contain, you can create a barrication, you can create a distance of uh, the cylinder so that your uh, unfired cylinder cannot get exposed with the means of radiant heat. Inform the gas cylinder supply immediately so th that you can get uh, right help at right time from the right team. If the cylinder content, uh, contents are unknown, treat as a acetylene and filled cylinder. These were the important points what we discussed, what we need to hand, uh, handle, what we need to see, what we need to implement during safe storage, safe handling, safe transportation, and of course, during any incident, if any. I have prepared the different training module for you guys, which is available freely on our uh, I mean, uh, website as well as on YouTube if, if you are interested. Uh, to go through that, uh, uh, please go through that. I would definitely urge you, request you to please subscribe the channel so that you can get 
right information right time because we keep on loading uh, different videos on different education on different topics on time time basis and if you have any suggestion or if you want to learn uh, on some topics please let me know on the comment section so that i can prepare a slide for you and i can come back to you okay guys i hope uh, uh, this video was useful for you and uh, thank you very much for passionately hearing me thank you very much once again for this one